Hello, I'm Paul Pluto from Paul Pluto Prestige and have I got a treat for you. I went into Brisbane Vintage Watches today just to actually to pick up a, uh, a clock, a Cartier desk clock. It's actually a Cartier mantle clock in the Art Deco style. It's a modern clock. I got it for a great price and uh, whilst I was in the shop, Ronnie showed me this most amazing Cartier Art Deco ladies watch and what it is it's a Cartier watch from 1930 early 30s original box and it's a little cocktail dress watch manual wine movement and it's just absolutely I I don't know eye watering you know just so beautiful so beautiful it's a little cocktail watch it's made in platinum and it's absolutely covered with these huge genuine Cartier diamonds uh, so this is all factory this is how it would have been sold in the 1930s and it's just I've never seen anything like it before in my life I mean you think about it your husband's wearing a beautiful tuxedo He's strapped on a white gold Calatrava Patek. You yourself are wearing a beautiful black dress and you just put on your wrist this diamond Cartier cocktail watch. I mean, what a night. And uh, it's just it's just so elegant and gorgeous and uh I I I don't I you know I I don't know what to say and uh it's just a magnificent piece and uh you know, when you think about the fact that we're in a global financial crisis at the moment, I mean, I don't, you know, I must say, compared to the 30s, we don't have soup kitchens everywhere. Yes, there's homeless. Yes, some people are doing it very, very tough. Even Archie is doing it tough. But I've got to say, it's nothing as bad as I think in the 1930s. And to have bought this watch in the 1930s, my God, this is before credit cards sort of became the way to finance big expensive purchases. And uh, you would have had to have money. Platinum ladies cocktail watch covered in diamonds from Cartier. Oh, absolutely amazing. And uh, I've got to say, it's just just an amazing piece and I, I said to Ronnie what's the story tell me what happened and he told me this story this old really wealthy lady it had been in her family since it was it was a bought brand new and uh, she inherited it she's very wealthy the lady's now in her late 60s and she had no kids so what does she do with this piece and uh, I mean this is a substantial piece here I think it was uh, it was over the ten thousand dollar mark so it's, you know it's, it's a lot of money for a little cocktail watch but I mean it's a very very special piece this is this ain't no normal sort of cocktail watch this is a a uh, pardon the language it's a fuck off piece platinum covered with big diamonds and uh, it's just something you'd put into a Christie's auction I mean it's a ladies piece and I admit the ladies fashions have changed a bit now you know watches are a lot bigger but this is just such a beautiful piece I'm sure any lady would love it and uh, I gotta be honest with you I showed my wife pictures of it and my, my wife she's a lovely lady but she's more into modern type watches she loves her Patek 24 she loves her Jager La Culture Reverso you know and 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 this here I said oh what do you think of it and no it she she loves it but it's not something she would choose and uh, that's the thing you know it's 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 a it's got to, it's got to find the right buyer but uh, I think it's just amazing to see one of these vintage Cartier pieces I mean we're talking drug dealer 
type of money. This is a hugely expensive piece. In the 1930s, to have bought this brand new, we're talking sick drug dealer sort of money. It's uh, it's nothing else I can really use to describe it. And uh, it's an amazing piece. An amazing piece and uh, you know, e even though I didn't buy it myself, it's something of beauty. It's an object of beauty to admire and respect. And uh, it's it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's It's something you know, if, if I had a lot more money, of course I would buy it. But um, you got to make sure the wife likes it. I mean, I've bought my wife some vintage mechanical Cartiers from the 60s, 70s. And she really didn't like them. You know, she always, she always preferred a modern type piece. And, you know, there's no point buying things for your special lady if she doesn't absolutely love them you know you've got to buy things that she likes it's like it's like a man who would say he really loves Porsches and uh, he may not be a Ferrari aficionado he may not be a vintage Bentley blower sort of sort of uh, you know enthusiast so for him you would stay with Porsches German you know, 356, ni early 911, if you wanted a vintage, you know, you. but if you're a an aficionado who likes vintage Bentley blowers, well, you know, it's a different, different type of collecting basis. And it's not to say any one collection is right or wrong, it's just what, what gives you pleasure in life. And uh, I gotta say, it gives me a lot of pleasure to share these beautiful pics with my friends and viewers from Paul Pluto Prestige. I hope you've enjoyed this sneak preview. I'm Paul Pluto from Paul Pluto Prestige. Tell me what you think what you think of this magnificent 1930s Art Deco Cartier Platinum Diamond wristwatch.